Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator in our 2015 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. With the cooling system apart, this is a great opportunity to install the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Intercooler and Mishimoto Silicone Coolant Hose Kit. Because we're also going to be draining the coolant on our Mustang, it's also good to pick up some Mishimoto Liquid Chill Full Synthetic Coolant. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 2.5 mm Allen key, T25 Torx, 5.5, 7, and 8 mm sockets, 7 mm swivel socket, 10 mm deep socket, short and 6 inch quarter drive extensions, quarter drive ratchet, flathead screwdriver, a pick tool, hose clamp tool, and needle nose pliers. Install time is 2 hours and install difficulty is a 3 out of 5. Raise the car by using a lift or jack stands. Remove the 14 7mm bolts, 6 pop clips, and 2 5.5mm bolts holding the under tray in place. If you have a piece of 3 8 hose laying around, this makes it a lot easier to drain the coolant. Attach the 3 8 hose to the petcock drain before opening the petcock. And once in place, open the petcock and drain the coolant. Draining the coolant may take several minutes. Once you're done, make sure to close the petcock. Remove the eight pop clips holding the plastic air diversion cover in place. With needle nose pliers, remove the one spring clamp that holds the coolant overflow hose to the radiator and slide the hose off. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the worm gear clamp and the coolant vent hose. Now, remove the two 10 mm bolts that hold the Mishimoto expansion tank in place. It may be best to use a zip tie to hold the expansion tank out of the way. Using a hose clamp removal tool, remove the upper coolant hose. Make sure to set the hose out of the way. Disconnect the wire harness for the fan shroud. Now, remove the two 10 mm bolts holding the stock fan shroud in place and remove it. Using a hose clamp tool, remove the lower hose from the radiator. Make sure to have a bucket ready, as extra coolant might come out. Next, remove the four 10mm bolts holding the two radiator stays in place. With the 7mm swivel socket, disconnect the hot side intercooler coupler. Now onto the driver's side of your Mustang, disconnect the cold side intercooler hose using the 7mm swivel socket you just used. Disconnect the MAP sensor by pushing down on the plastic harness and pulling out. Now let's remove the stock radiator, but first we need to unseat the AC condenser. To unseat the condenser, push the radiator and condenser back towards your engine, and then gently pull up on the tabs located on each side of the radiator. Once the tabs have been released, be sure that you lift the condenser high enough to unseat it from the bottom of the radiator. Next, remove the radiator and intercooler assembly completely. Now let's separate the radiator from the intercooler. Remove the 10 mm bolt from the passenger side of the intercooler. If you have the stock intercooler, unclip the clip on the driver's side to release the intercooler. If you have the Mishimoto intercooler, remove the 2.5mm set screw with an Allen key. Using a pick tool, remove the four clips from the stock radiator and transfer them to the Mishimoto radiator. Then, transfer the final clip from the stock mounting post to the Mishimoto mounting post. Install the two Mishimoto provided mounting posts to your radiator. Note the position of the mounting posts so you install the proper side onto the radiator. With the four provided 10mm bolts, 
install your mounting posts. Do not fully tighten down the 10 mm bolts so that you can adjust them once you get the radiator into your vehicle. Now you're ready to reattach your stock or Mishimoto intercooler to your new radiator assembly. Remember that if you have the stock intercooler, make sure to reclip the clip on the driver's side to attach your intercooler. If you have the Mishimoto intercooler, make sure to reuse the 2.5mm set screw using an Allen key. Install the one 10mm bolt you removed earlier. Once you have the full Mishimoto radiator and intercooler assembly back together, you are ready to reinstall the assembly back into your Mustang. Once the Mishimoto radiator assembly is back in your Mustang, reseat the AC condenser onto the Mishimoto radiator. To do this, push back on the radiator while lifting up on the AC condenser. Be sure that the lower tabs on the AC condenser seat into position. Reinstall the hot side pipe coupler onto the intercooler, but don't tighten it down yet. Then, reinstall the cold side hose back onto the intercooler. Now, tighten down the cold side hose and then the hot side coupler using a 7mm swivel socket. Reconnect the MAP sensor. You'll know it's connected when you hear it click. Once everything is adjusted properly, go ahead and tighten the four 10mm bolts holding your two lower mounting posts in place. Using your hose clamp removal tool, Reconnect the lower coolant hose to the Mishimoto radiator. Install the fan shroud onto the Mishimoto radiator using the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Go ahead and reconnect the fan harness. Reinstall the upper coolant hose onto the Mishimoto radiator, and with a flathead screwdriver, release the spring clamp once it's in place as shown here. Next, install the radiator stays using the four 10mm bolts you removed earlier. With the one spring clamp you removed earlier, use your needle nose pliers to reconnect the coolant overflow hose to the Mishimoto radiator. With a flathead screwdriver, reinstall the worm gear clamp and the engine coolant vent hose. Next, reinstall the expansion tank with the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto Performance Radiator, it's time to fill and bleed your cooling system. For this, we're using Mishimoto's Liquid Chill Full Synthetic Coolant. If you're not familiar with how to bleed your cooling system, or you just need a quick refresher, check out our DIY How to Bleed Your Cooling System. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.